Let's play a game of If You Only Knew. I throw some crushes. Okay. Celebrity crush as a child. Billy Idol. Funniest fan encounter. I don't think I have one. No? no. Superpower you wish you had. Uh, becoming invisible. Me too. Oh, me, amazing. Oh, Can you imagine wow. the things you'd find out? You could leave a room and go back in. But also, you could just follow somebody and find out everything about their lives. Oh, my God. I know. It's the ultimate. Yep. Every gossip column. <laughs> Information is power. You'd be, it'd be amazing. Of course, the National Enquirer thinks they have it. <laughs> <laughs> Person you'd like to switch places with for a day. Well, so I feel like someone like a Kate Blanchett. Where would we be most likely to find you on a day off? With my son, Freddie. At What's Kidville, his, his play place. <laughs> play space. His name is Freddie. Freddie? Yeah. It's an old fashioned name. It is. It's a family name on my husband's side. Is it Fred or Freddie? He's Frederick. And Fred. I call him Fred and Freddie. And he's two and a half. And he told me the other day that he prefers Freddie. Best piece of advice you ever got? My mother used to tell me when I would audition for things and not get the parts it has nothing to do with you. You have no idea what they had in mind for that part before you walked in the room. Where'd you grow up? Uh, in Montclair, New Jersey. And then in Manhattan when I was old. It What's changed. the worst piece of advice you ever got? Just be you. <laughs> <laughs> be yourself, I feel like it's the worst advice anyone can give you. What's your favorite show to binge watch? Either Game of Thrones or Real Housewives. Or recently, though, I love Stranger Things. I watched it five times the entire really? season. Do When you watch other actresses, do you say this is what I would have done? Or do you watch it as a viewer? Sometimes I think that. But uh, I'm also able to to just Diversion. be a viewer. Person you'd most like you you'd most like to take to lunch? I think probably. Um, um, oh my God, my brain is blanking. Oh God, this is so embarrassing, Sir Ben Kingsley. He was here recently. I love Great him. Great man. I sat next to him at an award show. I was fascinated. Something you cannot live without. So many things. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> most rebellious thing you've ever done. Oh, God. I did a lot of them as a teenager. Um, we used to, in New York, we used to, I used to stay out until my curfew and then pretend to go to sleep, tell my mother I was going to a pre-period class at high school, like it's a 7 a.m. class, but it was really only like 2 in the morning, and then I'd go back out to the club. Whoa. Until I had to go to school. You were pretty wild. I was, yeah. You were wild. I was wily, too. <laughs> wily and wild. <laughs> you have no first date experience? <laughs> I don't really have a bad... I mean, I don't know. I can't really think of it. Biggest misconception about you? That I am, like, dour or into gothy, dark things. I mean, I'm a little... the roles you play. Yeah. I'm associate a, you. Yeah. I'm a little edgy, but I'm generally pretty upbeat. What's a piece of advice you offer to your son? That things you do matter in life, you know? I kind of always went through life like not taking things seriously and having no forethought and thinking it was great to be reckless. And yeah, that's okay for a while, but this is it. This is life right now. So what you do now matters. Christina Ricci in 10 years. I hope I'm directing. I would have liked to have won a couple of awards. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I hope I have another child. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.